Welcome to the music products industry news, where we are going to learn something from the master about market development. The master we are referring to in this case is none other than Skip Majora, the founder of Skip's Music in Sacramento, and creator of the innovative Stairway to Stardom program, an event that we are going to be looking at here, and one of many that this savvy retailer has created to help develop the market for making music in the Sacramento area. Skip Majora has revolutionized retailing within the music products industry. While this Stairway to Stardom event addresses the younger set, he also coined the Weekend Warriors program that provides a pathway for older baby boomers to come back into the market, form bands, and make music again. The success of both programs and his willingness to share his ideas with other retailers has resulted in hundreds of similar events around the world. So here we are at the 30th anniversary of Skip's Stairway to Stardom. This program offers pre-teens, teens, and post-teens music-making opportunities in the setting of real-life performances and connections with others. You know, it's one thing to read about all this in the trade magazines, but quite another to actually see and be a part of it and share it with the world, which is why we are here today. We just passed through the lobby of the Crest Theater and are now walking to the stage where this year's finalists are performing and competing surrounded and supported by family, friends, fans, local press, and cutting-edge technology that duplicates real-world professional-level equipment and production these kids might never have the opportunity to experience on their own. Somebody once said the only way to get from one place to another by thought that is is to think you've already arrived. And that seems to be the philosophy here because everywhere you look there's a parallel to what would be considered the real thing in a professional live concert setting. We already know there's a marquee out in front with sold out, but there's also real sponsors inside that add to the music making experience. For instance, back in the lobby we find tables lining the way to the spectator entrance with information about neighborhood recording and video production studios, theater staging, moving and lighting equipment, a local television station also had a table there along with DVD duplication companies, photography services for both live performance and studio glamour shots, and there were industry musical instrument manufacturer sponsors there as well, many with regional reps showing and telling their product stories to hundreds of targeted kids and parents who are interested in hearing what they have to say. While band after band performed and competed for their screaming fans and a panel of judges throughout the day on stage, there was also the classic backstage activities including a green room down at the end of these stairs, which normally serves as a smaller theater. Here, band members could drop off their instruments in the lobby and then continue on into the smaller stage room where they were interviewed on camera and asked the usual questions about their influences, interaction with one another, and of course, what instruments they play. Sticking to that rock and roll format, each band is led to an autograph table out in the lobby immediately after their performance, where family members, friends, fans, and yes, real, honest-to-goodness groupies stand in line for signatures and posters, event programs, and even body parts when they run out of paper. Here's one where a fan's neck is autographed with a permanent black marker. I get a life-size picture of mom's expression when this kid gets home. Anyway, this event was running like a fine-tuned engine, even a VIP room for industry movers and shakers who came in from all over the country to personally congratulate Skip for 30 years of stairway to stardom market development, like a little micro NAM show. The performances were all video recorded and broadcast throughout the building in the green room, the VIP room, and even the lobby lounge where weary parents and family members could sit and watch the finalists perform in relative peace and quiet. 
Finally, after all the bands have rehearsed and performed and interviewed and autographed, Skip himself gets up there and talks directly to his market while waiting for the judges to make their decisions. He tells these kids about following their dream. He tells them about past stairway performers who have gone on to pull down a very good paycheck making music for a living. He thanks the parents for their support. He thanks the musicians for their dedication and passion. He thanks his sponsors, and most importantly, he thanks his team. Well, that about wraps it up for this issue. Hopefully this first-hand look inside one of the most successful music products, grassroots market development programs on the planet will be an inspiration for others. Until next time, please remember to keep telling the world about how making music makes you smarter. a little bit. This is Frank on bass.